Today we're going to talk about Nike as it has fallen almost 20% in the last 24 hours. Nike is normally a stock that isn't very volatile. However, with their recent earnings announcement, they have experienced a lot of volatility as they have provided guidance for fiscal year 2025 that has worried investors. So in this video, we will take a look at this earnings announcement, but I want to talk also about what this could mean for the broader economy. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure to subscribe nike is a company that has struggled a lot in the last couple of years year to date the stock is down almost 30 percent over the course of the last year it's down 33 percent and in the last five years it's actually down about 10 percent from its all-time highs of 175 dollars the stock has now fallen almost 60 percent and this isn't something that is normal for nike the last time we really saw a sustained move down for this company was back in 2015, where the stock moved down around 20% over the course of two years. And part of the reason Nike does so well over time is because of the stability of the business they're in. We're talking about shoes. These are things that people need all the time. They don't have a very high price target, as well as people are buying nice products. They want something that looks good. They want something that makes them feel good. And that is why they will often go to brands like Nike or Adidas. So when we talk about a company like Nike reporting poor guidance heading into their fiscal year 2025, this is going to have an effect on the broader economy. We can see that the S&P 500 on Friday fell by about 1% over the course of the day. In terms of Nike's actual numbers, they reported full year revenue coming in at $51.4 billion compared to a year prior where they reported $51.2 billion. Their fourth quarter revenue was down about about 2% sitting at $12.6 billion. For Nike Direct, they had a revenue in the fourth quarter of $5.1 billion, which is down 8%. Wholesale revenue, however, grew 5% to $7.1 billion. And this is not necessarily a good thing for Nike. They want to sell more products direct to customers because they can get better margins from it. When they're wholesaling products, that is not as good for Nike because it means the wholesaler, the company that's actually selling it, right? The products that they put in Dix or Foot Locker, they are having to take a lower margin because now these other middlemen are taking a margin as well. So it would be better if these numbers were flipped, if we were seeing growth for Nike Direct and lower numbers for wholesalers. However, this is not necessarily what Nike wants to see because it's going to eat a little bit into their profit. For their earnings per share in the fourth quarter, they put up 99 cents. Based off analyst expectations, this was a beat which overall is a positive thing in the short term. However, again, guidance is what brought this stock down. And in terms of that guidance, Nike is now expecting their revenue to fall by mid single digits in fiscal year 2025. They're expecting 10% declines in revenue in the first quarter of this year, which keep in mind when they're reporting these earnings, it's already into the first quarter. So they have a good idea of where they're trending. So this is a very bleak outlook. And keep in mind, things could get worse for Nike as we go through this year. Previously, they were actually guiding for growth in sales in 2025, and now they've flipped to mid to single digit losses in sales. So this is a big move in the wrong direction, and we're just seeing the first quarter. So if the first quarter ends and they're still trending in the wrong direction, we could see guidance come down even further. And overall, top line growth has been something that Nike has struggled with over the last few years. If we go all the way back to the fourth quarter of 2021, they put up $12.3 billion of revenue. They're now sitting at $12.6 billion of revenue in the most recent quarter. So they are basically flat in terms of their sales growth over the last three years. And if we look at where this decline in sales is coming from, it's North American footwear. In the last three months, their footwear segment has declined in revenue by 6% year over year. And in the last 12 months, it's actually down 2% year over year. So this is a bad sign for two reasons. One, because they're down year over year. That's obviously bad. The other and more major thing is that this decline appears to be accelerating. Down 2% year over year, but more recently, they are down 6% year over year. And their biggest market is North America, but even if you look across all of their regions, footwear is where they are experiencing the most problems. Again, down 4% in the last three months and up about 
about 1% over the last 12 months. So there appears to be an acceleration of declining revenue in the more recent time period, which again is a bad thing for Nike. And this is why their guidance moving forward is looking so bleak. And one kind of surprising bright spot for Nike is actually China. They have grown their revenue 4% year over year or 8% in a constant currency basis. Their footwear is still seeing growth, apparel is seeing growth, and equipment is seeing massive growth. So these are all good things overall for Nike. And this is a market that they want to expand into. I just found this very interesting because a lot of people have been talking very poorly about where the Chinese economy is at. However, Nike seems to be doing well still in China. And overall, I think this is a little bit concerning for Nike and the broader economy because what they're likely seeing is people either choosing to hold on to their old pair of shoes and not upgrade them as frequently or even trading down to a less expensive pair of shoes. Both of these are not good for Nike's sales and could allude to something bigger in the economy with customers trading down to products that are less expensive to kind of tighten up the wallet. In terms of Nike's valuation, they're currently sitting at a forward P ratio of a 24.75. And this is at a little bit of a premium compared to the broader market. When we look at the S&P 500, it's currently trading at a forward P ratio of a 22.27. And personally, I've actually always had the feeling that Nike should be trading a little bit below the market in that kind of 15 to 20 forward P ratio range, especially with the fact that analysts right now have an EPS estimate for 2025 of $3.63. This is down year over year from $3.70 last year. They are expecting growth to pick back up in 2026 of $4.08 per share. So for me personally, I am not looking to buy Nike right now. I think that it's a little bit worrisome, the declines in revenue that they have projected going forward. However, long term, I do think Nike is going to be a great company. The number of athletes that they sponsor around the world and the brand recognition that they have across the globe is massive. And I think that's showing with the growth they have in China. And as other nations really become more and more developed, I think Nike will be a big player around the world. But right now with the premium that they're trading at compared to the market and the negative growth of sales that they're projecting, I think there are some concerns with the company. So maybe if the stock falls a little bit further, I would be interested in buying, but I want to see it fall at least below a 20 forward P ratio. But keep in mind, do not buy a company just because some random guy on YouTube talked about it. Make sure you are doing your own analysis and looking into companies that meet your risk tolerance as well as your time horizon. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. And for the joke of the day, how do you get a country girl's attention? Check the comments down below for the answer. Thanks for watching.